Okay, death from within. Tune to this. D standard tuning. Okay, you're gonna make your sound kind of shitty here to start the song, and you're gonna hear this riff. Okay. Now what he's doing there is he's just palm muting that open six string in that picking pattern. You can figure it out by listening. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up having to up pick the fifth string seven to five pull off. And that's what I'm doing there. Okay, so that's that part of the riff. Uh, and then, then after that, it's going to do that, I think, four times. And then he's going to add like a little ending to it. And that ending, he's simply doing a 7-5, seven, 7-5, five, seven, five, seven, five, and then he's going 5-3 pull off. And then he's doing a 3-2 three, two, three, two pull off, but landing on the third fret of the sixth string. And then he's just doing a quick palm mute of that sixth string in between those pull offs as he's going down there. Like that. Okay? Now this is how the song transitions into like the main part of the song. You're going to do the <clears throat> the same picking pattern and this is the fourth time that he does this this part of the riff. He's going to do this twice. He's going to do 7 to 5 pull off twice. And then immediately he's going to go into the Oh, you'll see. Okay, so he's doing the 5 3 pull off the 3 2 to the 3-2 on the 5th string to the 3rd fret, pull off on the 6th string, and then he's doing 5-3-2, 2, two uh, sorry, 5-3-2, three, 3-2-0. Two, three, two, oh. And that's how he breaks into the song. Okay, so... Okay, and then the song's going to start, and it's going to start uh, kicking in, and the sound's going to actually, you know, kick in a little better. So the very first note you hit when you start the song is a palm muted third fret on the sixth string. And then what he's doing is he's just kind of going up to the fifth fret and then to the sixth fret. Notice the picking pattern. The picking patterns especially on the open strings in this song are uh, a little tricky so on top of all the other fills and stuff throughout this song, you're going to notice that uh, just the picking alone on the rhythms is, is even trickier. So this isn't the easiest song, obviously. So here we go. Okay. Now, if you notice, I just stopped there after I hit the fifth fret. And that's because he's, this is the first of those uh, crazy fills that they do. I'm just going to show you one guitarist parts. You can uh, Google or whatever, look up the tabs for the other guitarist parts. I'm going to show you the lower end guitar here. Okay, the first fill is... And what he's doing there is he's starting on the first fret of the sixth string. Go up to the fourth fret. This is all alternate picking, so if you don't know how to alternate pick, get out. Okay, you're gonna do one four on the sixth string, then one two three on the fifth on the fifth string. Immediately bridge your ring finger there over to the fourth string, and then you're gonna do a three one on the fourth string. And then you're gonna go three two. And then you're gonna go three, two, one on the fifth, and then four, one on the sixth. So basically, you're doing the riff backwards, forwards and backwards. Okay. And then immediately starts that rhythm back up on the palm muted third fret. Okay. So that's the very first fill. Same rhythm. You're going to go through the same rhythm there.
okay? And that's almost, it starts out the same way as the other riff, but he's just going to go up uh, some notes <coughs> toward the end. And what he's doing there is one, four. Yeah, one, four on the sixth, one, two, three on the fifth. And then bar your ring finger to the third fret of the fourth string. And then you're going to come up to the third fret on the fifth string. And you're going to do the same exact pick, uh, fret pattern. Three, five, I'm sorry, three to six on the fifth. Then three, four, five on the fourth. And then the last note there, you're going to bar that ring finger again on the fifth fret on the third string. So it's going to go. Okay. Now we're going back to the rhythm. Alright, so what this riff is, he's doing, this is a, probably the tougher of the four that I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Start there on the third fret, fourth string. And you're going to go three, two, so three, two with your uh, middle finger to pointer finger. Then you go pinky the middle finger on the three, uh, sorry, the fifth fret and the to the third fret on the fourth string. And then after you do the five three, you're gonna go reach your pinky up to the sixth fret, and then go sixth fret to fifth fret all on the fourth string. Then you're going to go to the 3rd fret, 3rd string, back to the 6th fret, 4th string. Then 5, 3 on the 3rd, and then end on 6, 5 on the 3rd. So, here's the whole thing. So your hand is kind of like right in the same place the whole time, but you are stretching your fingers and the pattern is just something to get used to. And he's playing all this stuff fast. I'm just showing you slow for the lesson. Okay, and then back to the rhythm for the final time on the first third. Now what that is, you're just literally going all the way down the fretboard. If I could stretch this out just on the uh, sixth string, it would be 12 all the way down to the first fret. But I'm not going to do that because I can't play cleanly like that and I don't think that's what they do. So start on the second fret of the fourth string. And you're going to go 2-1 open on the fourth string. And then you're going to go 4, 3, 2, 1, open on the 5th string. And then after the open 5th string, you're going to go to the 4th fret, 3, 2, 1, on the 6th string. The last note being the 1st fret of the 6th string. Okay, and that's going to go... And into this riff I'm going to show you. So this riff is um, the chorus and there's definitely two guitars being played here. I chose to play the more challenging uh, riff here. So, and that's what I'm going to show you. So what he's going to do is he's going to play the seventh fret of the fifth string and then he's going to kind of, he's going to kind of pl pick that open six string, but I block it with my pinky, so you'll see me playing it like this. It's just a pick, it's just a habit I have. You guys could do this however you want, but it's... And after the third time you pick that seventh fret, you're gonna, you're gonna go down to the tenth fret and actually play the tenth fret with your pinky on the six string that and then and then land there on and you're gonna end after you play a tenth fret on the seventh fret fifth string and then in between that or well 
He's going to keep doing that. He's going to go 7th fret 2 times, and then 9, 10 on the 6th on the string. And you're going to play that kind of palm muted. Picking is tricky on this one, just, just so you know. But it's all it's almost all alternate pick. After he does this again, you're gonna go and that's seven, nine, ten, nine, seven, back to the tenth on the sixth string. So up oh, like this. Okay? Okay, the third time now, and I'm going through it, he's going to do that same, that's two sevens on the sixth string to the nine ten, except he's not going to go back and do the riff again, he's going to go do more runs here, he's going to go, so that's seven, nine, ten. 7, 9, 10 on the 4 string, and then he's just going to do the exact same run but backwards, so, uh, and then go 9, 7, 10, 9, 7 on the 4th, 10, 9, 7 on the 5th, and then land on the 10th fret of the 6th string, so it's like this, I'm going to play this nice and slow. It's tough to play that, and it's and it's once you get it, it's easy. But uh, you got to warm this hand up. Holy cow, because uh, he plays that so many times in a row, especially at the end. And we're just getting started here with the song. So uh, anyway, after that part ends, you're gonna come out, and you're just gonna it's gonna hold on the on the tenth fret there of the E six string, and you're just gonna. At the end, he's just doing it, you know. And now you've entered the second verse. The second verse is the exact same thing as the first verse, except for the very end. It's actually instead of four measures, it's only three. And he combines the last, uh, the third and fourth runs from the first verse at the end of the third verse. So what he's going to do is he's going to do uh, that, you know, the normal rhythm. But the fills are going to be the same. And then... And then <clears throat> the third ver the third measure in this second verse, he's going to do this riff. Okay, and then it's going <clears> to <throat> be followed immediately by the... Which is very challenging to play. And I say it's challenging to play because you have to play it cleanly like you're supposed to anything else that you play on the guitar, and it's hard. So... And then... Okay? <clears throat> it's very hard, but... And you gotta play it right when you get to that... That last note, you gotta immediately go to the second fret there on the fourth string of that riff that I showed you. That's not real time, but it's fast enough for you to get how quickly they transition into each other. And then it goes right into that. So like, once you get into that second verse, that's when the shit really starts to hit the fan on this song. All right, now this song has um, gone through two verses. This part here, um, <clears throat> he's gonna 
end that that chorus, that second chorus, and just do the. 